Hi everyone and welcome to your mat today. My name is Jillian and I will be your yoga instructor for this yoga sequence. So hop into some comfy clothing, grab your mat, a bottle of water, and let's get ready to flow. Okay, so let's just begin in a nice, easy, seated, comfortable position. Whatever that looks like for you, we'll settle in here, start to connect with our breath. Maybe our palms fall gently on the thighs, whatever's comfortable. And let's stack our spine nice and tall, head over heart, heart over pelvis. And take a deep breath in through the nostrils. Nice and cleansing deep breath. And exhale, soften out through the mouth. Option to close the eyes, tuning inward. One more deep breath in, sending the breath all throughout the body. Exhale, soften, releasing tension, rooting down through the sit bones. We're gonna breathe in, reach those arms up, lengthen through the side bodies. And exhale, coming into a gentle twist, we're gonna rotate the chest toward the right. That right palm will come behind us to support and we'll open up. Maybe the gaze comes over towards the right shoulder. Sitting up nice and tall, deep breath in. Exhale, soften, maybe sink a little bit deeper. Nice and gentle here, don't take it too hard. Whenever you're ready, we'll come out the same way we came in. Deep breath in, arms come up. Release that twist. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna twist toward the left, rotating that chest. Left palm will come behind us to support. Sitting up nice and tall, lengthen through the crown of the head and then we'll gaze over that left shoulder. Rooting down through the sit bones, rinsing and twisting the spine, and giving our metabolism a little boost. One more deep breath, nice and tall. Exhale. We'll soften, coming out of the pose, same way we came in, lengthen one more time. And exhale, arms back down towards our sides, neutral spine. From here, we'll come into our cat and cow series. So coming into a tabletop position on our hands and our knees, a nice neutral spine, flat back, wrist under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna move through our cat and cows. So if you know what that looks like, go right ahead. Otherwise, I'll walk you through it. So as we inhale, we drop the belly, drop the chest, gaze towards the sky, deep breath in. And as we exhale, we'll start to round the tailbone, round the spine, push the mat away, and tuck the chin in toward the chest. Again, we'll inhale, drop the belly, drop the chest, gaze up, maybe give a soft smile. And exhale, starting to tuck the tailbone, we'll round the sides. Create space in the side bodies. Take about two to three more rounds at your own pace. Deep breath in. Moving with your body, getting that spine nice and warmed up from the inside out, and giving our internal organs a nice massage. We'll come back to a neutral spine on our next exhale, nice flat back, crown of the head and the tailbone reaching in equal but opposite directions. And from here we can take it into puppy. I'm just gonna scooch back and then I will walk the palms forward. Arms extended out long. I'm gonna start to melt the chest toward the mat. Chin comes down, shoulders rotate away from the ears, root down through the shins. Deep breath in. Opening through the chest, melting the heart forward. Lengthen through the side bodies. We're gonna activate through those palms 
and then we're going to prepare for our downward facing dog so we can tuck those toes spread the fingertips wide and we can take the knees off the mat send the hips toward the sky first down dog of the practice so any variations of movement or stillness are welcome here if we want to bend at the knees and pedal through the feet open through the back of the legs or maybe rock the hips side to side, open through the side bodies and expand, finding length. Or maybe nod the head yes and no. Losing any tension in the neck, the jaw, the face. We'll send those hips toward the sky as the heels ground down. One more deep breath in. Exhale, send the energy backwards. When you're ready, we're going to inhale, gaze between the palms, and we're slowly going to walk it up towards the top of our mat and find a forward fold. We can have our feet hips width, about two fists in between, and we can relax here, micro bend in those knees, and create space in the low back, start to release tension in the neck, the jaw. We can have the arms dangle or clasp at opposite elbows. Take about two to three breaths here. Whenever you're ready, root to rise. We're gonna root down through those feet and slowly come all the way up to stand. Maybe reach the arms towards the sky, deep inhale. And exhale, we'll bring those arms back down towards the sides. Take a moment here in a mountain pose. Nice and strong, rooted through those feet. Deep breath in, reach the arms up overhead. Maybe a slight back bend up top, open through the chest. And exhale, we'll come to a forward fold. So we'll hinge at the hips, folding at the hips. Fingertips come back toward the earth at the top of our mat. We can inhale, lift the spine halfway, fingertips come to the tops of the thighs, flat back, gazes forward, and exhale, we can plant those palms, and we're going to step the right foot back towards the back of our mat, and lower on the back knee. So we can double up on the mat if that back knee is a little sensitive, and we're going to stack the front knee over the front ankle. We can lower on the top of the right foot here. We're going to plant that right palm down and open the chest, coming to a twist. Left arm reaches towards the sky. Deep breath in, broaden through the collarbones. Soften through the jaw, soften through the face, maybe give a soft smile. And exhale, we'll plant that left palm back down, framing the foot. We can come up on the back toes, come up off the back knee, maybe rock forward and backwards. And we're going to step that left foot back to meet the right in a plank pose, top of a push-up position. Hug the inner thighs towards one another, engage the core, shift the weight forward, and move through your vinyasa. So chaturanga to up dog, or to cobra. Wherever you are, we'll all meet in our downward facing dog. So we'll send the hips up toward the sky and meet in the down dog, rooting down through all ten fingers, spread nice and wide. Loosen in the neck. When you're ready, gaze between the palms. Coming up on the toes, we'll bend the knees. And when you're ready, we're going to hop it up towards our palms at the top of our mat. Deep breath in. Exhale, hop. We'll land nice and light at the top of our mat. Nice forward fold here. Deep breath in. Lengthen in the low back. Exhale, soften. Keep the micro bend in those legs. Whenever you're ready, root to rise. We'll reach those arms all the way up. Hasta Tadasana. Deep breath in. Exhale, arms at our sides. Traditional mountain pose. Take a deep breath here, open through the chest, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Engage the core, root through the feet. Deep breath in.
Inhale, reach the arms up, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, fingertips to the earth. Inhale, lift the spine halfway, flat back, gazes forward, weight is in the toes. Exhale, forward fold, plant the palms. This time we're gonna step that left foot back towards the back of our mat. Lowering on the back knee, back top of the foot, we'll come in a low runner's lunge. Plant that left palm on the inside of the opposite foot as we come into a twist. Open towards the right, right arm comes up. Broaden through the collarbones, create space in between the shoulders, the ears, deep breath in. Exhale, soften, gush it out. Open through the left hip flexor. Exhale, we can take that palm back down, framing the foot. We can come up on the back toes, come up off the back knee, and rocking forward and back, we'll just create some momentum, opening through the hips. And whenever you're ready, that right foot will come back to meet the left, plank pose, top of a push-up position. Pushing the mat away, nice and strong here, nice strong core. We're gonna hug those inner thighs in towards one another. And then we're gonna shift the weight forward, move through your vinyasa. So maybe we lower the torso all the way down towards the earth, hugging the elbows in, and then coming up to cobra or any variation. Whenever you're ready, we'll all meet in our downward facing dog. Take about two to three breaths here. Relax in the face, hips in the sky, open through the shoulders. Taking a child's pose at any point throughout the practice that you feel necessary. Just listening to your body and the signals it has for you. So from here, we're going to inhale, lift that right leg parallel with the earth, so halfway. We're gonna bend at that knee and step it up. We're gonna step it up on the outside edge of the right foot, kind of on the edge of the mat. We're gonna point the toes at a 45 degree angle outward. And then we're just gonna do the same exact thing with that left foot. So we're gonna come into our Malasana squat, yogi squat, by setting those hips down. If this is too much for you, we can always roll up the mat, creating some foundation for our heels. We can add a blanket, a block underneath our sacral bones. So we're gonna relax here in our Malasana Yogi squat. We can take our hands to a prayer. We're gonna open through the hip joints. Maybe we ground down through the heels and engage the glutes slightly. Open through the collarbones, lengthen through the crown of the head. Deep breaths here, start to soften in the face. Pushing the hips open with the elbows but also creating a sensation by pushing back into those elbows with the legs. Keeping a nice balanced sensation. Maybe we find some rocking. Lengthen in the low back. Take one more deep inhale here. Inhale through the nostrils. Send the breath wherever you need it. Exhale, gush it out through the mouth. We can take those fingertips out in front or behind because we're gonna come back into a seated position. So sit bones back to the earth. We can take those legs and extend them out long. And here we're just going to take that right leg and just bend at the knee. Taking the right foot, we're gonna plant it on the outer edge of that left thigh, so the opposite thigh. Right palm will come back behind to support as left arm reaches up towards the sky lengthen deep inhale exhale bend the elbow twisting towards the right lengthening through the crown of the head we'll inhale deeply into the center of the belly rinsing and twisting the spine detoxing any fatty acids that have been living inside of us Whenever you're ready, we'll release the twist, coming out the same way we came in, left arm up, and coming back around and behind us. We'll release that leg and extend it back out long. And do the same thing for the opposite side with that left leg. 
bend of the knee and plant it on the outer edge of the opposite thigh. Left palm comes behind to support and we're going to take that right arm all the way up towards the sky, lengthen, deep inhale and exhale, twisting towards the left, bending at the elbow and opening the chest. Maybe the gaze comes over the left shoulder, keeping that right foot flexed. Maybe we extend the right arm out long just to help us a little bit deeper into the twist. Deep breaths in to the center of the belly, rooted down nice and strong through the sit bones, lengthening through the crown of the head. Coming out the same way we came in, reach that arm up. And exhale, right arm will come back down and around, planting it down. We'll extend that left leg out long once again. And from here, we can take it onto our backs. So I'm going to scooch a little forward and coming onto the back. Our legs will be extended out long. However, I'm just going to take that right leg and hug it in towards the chest, hugging the knee to the chest, wrap my arms around the shin. We'll keep both feet flexed. Maybe we can just relax here, opening through the hip flexors. Maybe we create some movement, rocking side to side start to soften, create space in the low back. Whenever you're ready, we'll swap legs, extend through the right, and take that left knee to chest. Arms come around the shin, giving your yourself a nice tight squeeze. Keep those feet flexed, open through the hip flexors, hip extenders. Maybe you will find movement, connect with the breath. Feel your body becoming heavy, starting to slow down the mind. Whenever you're ready, We'll release that leg, extend it out long. And from here we can come into our happy baby. So we'll bend both of those knees, soles of the feet to the earth. And then from here we can just take those knees and hug them in towards the armpits, just a little bit. Rooting that tailbone down nice and strong. Maybe we're okay here and we already feel it in the hip joints. Maybe we can find some movement we want to take it further, soles of the feet will come towards the sky and we can grab the inside or the outside edge of those feet. We'll let gravity do its work, letting our arms hang heavy, knees falling in towards the chest area. The neck and the tailbone both rooted down nice and strong. Connect with your breath, open through the hip joints. start to soften in the face. Feel your body melting into the mat. One more deep breath in our happy baby. Maybe rocking side to side if it feels good. Whenever you're ready, the soles of the feet can come back to the earth. We're gonna come into our Supta Baddha Konasana. One more pose before our final Shavasana pose. So those soles of the feet can remain together, knees can fall out wide, so they'll come into a butterfly or a diamond shape. We can take our palms towards the sides, palms facing up, or maybe one palm to the low belly, one palm to the chest. Start to soften here, connect with your breath. Let gravity do its work. Let your knees start to hang heavy, open through the hip joints. Start to soften in the face. Return to a normal cycle of breath. Start to still the mind. And eventually we'll extend those legs out long. Toes fall out wide. 
Arms will come out long if they're not already there, palms facing up. Let the body become still. Connect with your breath. Still the mind. Release all tension in your face and your body. Remain here for about five to 10 minutes. This is where I'll leave you. Thank you for joining me in my class today. I hope you all feel as refreshed and as energized as I do. And I hope you all enjoyed this yoga sequence. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all soon. Namaste.